Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyJobMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bulk edit your contacts with an active campaign. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here I am already on my contacts page. So I'm just under contacts here and I can see a list of all my contacts. Now to edit multiple contacts at once, I can just check these little check boxes right here. And in this case, I'd be editing Billy Bob and Ian Smith both at the same time. You can go ahead and select all your contacts as well. So you can hit this box right here and it would select all your contacts. So a couple different ways you could go ahead and select your contacts. But let's say that I just want to edit these two right here. So I check the box right there and I can go ahead and click on edit. And now I'm bulk editing two contacts and I have several different actions I could choose from. So I could add them to a list. So hit that and then I could hit the drop down and add them to a list if I want to. So maybe a master contact list. We'll go ahead and add them there. I could unsubscribe from a list if I wanted to do that. I could add to an automation. So if I had automation set up, I could go ahead and select which automation I want to go ahead and add them to. So self-explanatory stuff right there. Additionally, I could go ahead and add a tag to them. So maybe I want to do bulk update as a tag. Now, it doesn't really make sense, but just for the sake of example, I'll have that tag that I'll be adding to their profile. Additionally, there's the options to remove tags as well. So if I wanted to remove tags, I could go ahead and do that. Finally, I could also update a field. So if I wanted to select a field like phone number, which would be a weird one to bulk update because not everybody has the same phone number, but maybe account. Maybe I want to add them all to the same account and I want to add them to the Crazy Eye Marketing account and click update. And so right now, if I click apply, I'll be adding them to the list, master contact list. I'll also be adding the tag bulk update and also updating the field account with Crazy Eye Marketing. So let's go ahead and click on apply. And then it gives me a little warning message that I'm bulk editing two contacts. Applying changes cannot be canceled or undone. Are you sure you wanna apply these changes? So yes, I am sure. And now my contacts are being edited. I might leave this page, okay. And so now they all have the same account of Crazy Eye Marketing. If I go into their contact record, I should see that they have the tag bulk update, which they do. They're also on the list, master contact list. So awesome. It looks like my contacts have been updated. Let's come back out to contacts real quick. Now, maybe you have thousands or tens of thousands of contacts and you only want to edit some that meet certain criteria. So there's different filtering options you could go ahead and apply. So over here on the right hand side, you could go ahead and filter people by tags that they have. So we have all tags, any tags, no tags, the bulk update tag, the manual tag. You could also filter people that are on different lists. So if I had multiple lists set up in my active campaign account, I could go ahead and select from various lists and get the contacts only on those lists. Additionally, their status. So I could have any status, active, unconfirmed, unsubscribed, or bounce status. So there's that filtering option. Also, I could go ahead and search contacts. So maybe I want to search by Bob. And then all my contacts named Bob would go ahead and show up. And I only have one, so there's that Bob. But also, there's an option if I click in here for advanced search. So this feature holds a lot of power. So I just wanted to point it out real quick. So advanced search. And now we can go ahead and select different conditions that people meet that we want to filter for. So let's open this up real quick. So we have contact details like email address, first name, last name, etc. So some of these options might not be helpful, but date created might be helpful. We'll come back to it. There's contact list, updated date, there's tags, is primary contact an ideal, and so on. Let's come back up here to date created. So we selected that and we have another option right here. So is, is not, is after, is before, is on or after, or is on or before. So this could be useful. Maybe we need to update contacts that are before a certain date or after a certain date. And so we could go ahead and filter based off of when they were created. And then it would filter this list down here. And then we could go ahead and edit all the contacts that meet whatever criteria we use for this advanced search. So that could be very helpful. There's also the option to add additional conditions as well. So we'd have date created is this date right here and they must match another set of criteria. So let's go through a couple more things. So contact list status, so is subscribed to a list, is not subscribed, is unconfirmed, has been added to a list, date unsubscribed and so on. There's different actions. So have submitted a form, has opened an email. So this could be very useful if you're trying to see who's opened an email or not opened an email. So that way maybe you wanna send them another email or add them to another automation or something like that. Sent not open, has clicked on a link, has forwarded, has replied, has skipped goals. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different options. You can send it to them based off of different geography. So the state they live in or the country or their site and event data has visited, not visited, total page visit, 
credits, account details. And so these may or may not be helpful, but you can see there's a bunch of different sorting and filtering options right here that would update your list down here. And you can get real creative with it by adding and or or statements. Also, you could add a new segment group as well. So maybe you have date created is this date, and then you have geography and country and region is United States, and they must also have done some site and event data, has visited URL that contains YouTube. And I can select ever, one time, two to five times, six to 15 times, 16 plus times, and so on. So you can get very, very flexible with these filtering options. We can go ahead and click on search and no contacts meet those particular conditions. But if they did, I could go ahead and select them and add them to a list, add a tag to them, add them to an automation, etc. So that's it for this video on how you can bulk edit your contacts. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate your likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyarmarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day.